So assuming you have started the VM and you have started the Hadoop, Hive, and Spark, right? And then in order for Tableau to connect into Spark SQL, you need one more services on the VM to start. Okay, right? So that service is all called a Swift server. So here you already have the Hadoop and the Hive and the Apache Spark master and the worker node, right? So you need one more service. It's called Swift server, T-H-R-F-T-S-E-R-V-E-R. -E -E so the command to start a Swift server is the dollar sign, okay, right? And dollar sign Spark underscore home forward slash s -bing forward slash start dash thrift server making sure it's one word with thrift server dot sh so press the enter key it will start up the thrift server sometime uh, there may be problem that uh, start up the tableau to connect a uh, spark sql and then this is related to permission issues from the slash tmp and slash hive so this is actually inside the, the hive site.xml and then the solution is to replace this slash forward slash tmp forward slash hive uh, into the tilde sign forward slash tmp forward slash hive so what i'm talking about you need to go to the hive folder hive underscore home dollar sign so cd dollar sign hive underscore home cd conf it's the subdirectory and then inside there is a file called hive-site.xml so you just open this file and looking for this particular string you can basically search forward slash tmp forward slash hive so it is you can put forward slash i already searched so that's why it goes here so forward slash search right and then it's kind of tricky. So backslash forward slash TMP backslash forward slash hive. So it will find here. So originally you should have the, you, what you have is a forward slash TMP forward slash hive. The solution is add the TD sign, insert the TD sign. Okay, right? The TD sign, uh, which is on the upper left corner of the keyboard, this sign in front of the forward slash tmp forward slash hive so essentially is you are using the your home directory forward slash tmp forward slash hive as the folder for the scratch directory for the hive so now you just press escape key and then save okay right so therefore you're supposed to change from this forward slash tmp forward slash hive to dollar sign forward slash tmp forward slash hive so by after this uh save and exit you're supposed to restart hive okay right and the restart hive so now uh, uh how to restart hive then you have to actually uh if the hive is already started up which is a hive is called run jar then you have to stop this process so kill dash nine Okay, right, and then Hive is done, right? So what I'm going to do, restart it. Okay, right, and restart it. So therefore, you can basically, uh, if I do a history, or you can basically, you can do a history to find grep, Hive, right? And then to find the command to start. So in this case, it's 1031, right? So you can basically copy this one all the way to the end percent. Don't forget the end percent, right? And the paste it and the run it. So now you start a hive, okay, right? You start a hive, restart a hive, you, because you kill the hive and restart the hive. So by doing that, you're supposed to restart the, the Swift server, right? Then just, you can simply go there. Right, and start Swift server and do it again. So it's already running. Um, I actually, we need to stop it first. Okay, right. So it is inside the dollar sign S bin. So you can go to dollar sign S bin. There is another to stop. There is another command called stop Swift server. Okay, so basically what 
enter, uh, running this command, it will shut down the Swift server, and then you can restart the Swift server. Okay, so now Swift server has been started up, so you should be able to connect the, the Tableau, okay, right, and to the Spark SQL. So. so the other thing you want to set up is essentially is the in the VM, the settings, the network, the port forwarding. Okay, right, so you're clicking on the setting and then clicking on the network, advanced, right, and for the net protocol, so clicking on the port forwarding, making sure because you need to add the entry for port 10,000. What is the port 10,000? That is the Spark SQL port, the Swift server port that Tableau is going to request, send the request to. So therefore, you need to add one more local port, the host port is in my cases 50032. So right, so and then it has a guest, uh, the, 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 the IP address and the guest port. So therefore, essentially, you need to map a 50032 uh, for the Mac or for the Windows, maybe 32, okay, right? And the map to the port 10,000, okay, right? And map to the port center. Making sure is you add, clicking on the plus sign, add this entry. So uh, add this entry. So therefore, when you're connecting to Tableau, you need to mention you are going to using 50032, okay, right? So therefore, click OK and click OK, okay, right? Okay, so suppose you have already installed and set up the, the Tableau desktop and you have activated the Tableau desktop. So now you can simply launch the Tableau desktop and then try to connect the Spark SQL. So therefore, you click the more and then you find the Spark SQL. So click the Spark SQL. So the first time, it will ask you, ask you to download a driver, uh, which is a Simba ODBC driver. Okay, right. So you click in the download driver icon and it will download driver. For me, I don't need to because I already downloaded it. So I just simply exit this pop up and then go to my download folder. This is a download, uh, this is a Mac. So Windows works the same. Okay, right. So I clicking on running the, the downloaded Simba ODBC driver and clicking in, install and my password so it will install so now the Simba ODBC driver has been installed so if I simply close out and uh, I want to keep that and then clicking uh, I need to restart the Tableau desktop so therefore I first I need to exit the Tableau and then going back to the Tableau relaunch the Tableau so to recognize Tableau will recognize upon start the, the proper ODBC driver has been installed. So now I click in the more, click in the Spark SQL. So now it has a pop-up screen and then it shows the, the, the IP address is the, the IP address says the says a Mac machine that runs the 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 Spark SQL, right? And it says runs the Spark SQL and also the port, you know this is I use 50032 because the default spa port is a five uh, is a 10,000. So this the reason is the this is a VM. So runs on that Mac machine. So it's a port forwarding. I define the host port is a 50032 and map to the guest port is a 10,000. Okay, right? And no authentications, binary, nothing else is changes. Okay, right? And then just simply clicking sign in. It will take a little bit while because the access a remote machine that runs the VM so it will take quite a while but it will eventually um, connect to the, the, the tablet will connect to the, the Spark SQL runs on the machine on a VM so that VM runs on a another machine
Okay, so I'm connecting, and then you can select the clicking on the schema, and then select the schema and click the don't enter anything, just clicking at the search icon. It will find all the default databases. Okay, right? And then for example, I have an example databases inside the Spark SQL. And then I can clicking on looking for tables under the schema and then clicking on it will find the table called example table. Okay, right? Example table. So uh, this concludes the demonstration of how to set up the, the Tableau uh, desktop and connect it to a Spark SQL.